Hello everyone. In this module, we can discuss the concept of information rate. In the previous modules, we have concluded with the discussion of concept of information as well as the concept of entropy. So here information rate is generally represented with a variable capital R. It is defined as the average number of bits transmitted per second. That means how many number of bits are transmitted per second. That is nothing but our information rate. Whose units are bits per second. And mathematically it is expressed as the product of sampling frequency small r and entropy capital H. So we know how to calculate the entropy. And uh, once we know the sampling frequency, the sampling frequency multiplied by entropy gives you the information rate. And we know that for the sampling frequency, the units are samples per second. And the units of entropy are bits per sample, leading the information rate units as bits per second. So here we can discuss one problem that is an event, for example, if it has six possible outcomes with probabilities P1 equal to 1 by 2, P2 is equal to 1 by 4, P3 is equal to 1 by 8, P4 is equal to 1 by 16, P5 is equal to 1 by 32 and P6 is equal to 1 by 32. And you are supposed to calculate the entropy information rate capital R if there are 16 outcomes per second. So here outcome rate is given to you that is small r is given to you as 16. Now you have to calculate the entropy. Then you can multiply the outcome rate and entropy to get the information rate. So H is equal to minus summation J is equal to 1 to M P suffix J log P suffix J base to bits per outcome. So here capital M, so total number of messages are 6. So we have taken the summation maximum limit as 6. Just substitute P1 as 1 by 2, P2 as like all the probabilities you substitute in the expression of entropy. So minus of 1 by 2 log 1 by 2 base 2. Similarly, plus 1 by 4 log 1 by 4 base 2, so on 1 by 32 log 1 by 32 base 2. Just solve for the entropy capital H. Uh, just to, to get the base 2, just split log 1 by 2 base 2 as log 1 by 2 by log 2. So here uh, the base is 10 for both the numerator and denominator. So directly you can make use of the calculator to solve this. So H will be, you obtained it as 1.392 bits per outcome. So in order to calculate the information rate, just multiply the outcome rate with entropy. So 16 outcomes per second multiplied by 1.392 bits per outcome. So it is 30.912 bits per second. The same model, you can see another problem. Here continuous signal in the second example, a continuous signal is band limited to 5 kilohertz and it is quantized into uh, eight levels so you have total of kept uh, eight number of messages are there and uh, here you are also given with a band limited frequency fm but uh, to avoid the aliasing problem fs must be always greater than or equal to 2 fm so 2 into 5 will be 10 minimum uh, amount of uh, nyquist rate is required so first calculate the entropy as per the respective probabilities and you will get it as 2.728 bits per level. And information rate is the level rate small r multiplied by entropy. So but you are given with only the maximum frequency. So 2 into 5k. So that is 10 kilohertz. 10 kilohertz multiplied by 2.728. So it is 27.28 kilobits per second. So like that you have to calculate the information rate. So one more example which is very important. Uh, so this is like an application oriented problem. So if we here consider a telegraph source having two symbols dot and dash. So two symbols here we are considering. That means uh, only two probabilities we are going to uh, make use of to calculate the entropy. So the dot duration is 0.2 seconds. That means uh, T dot is given to you as 0.2. And dash duration is three times dot duration. So dash duration will be 3 to 0.2. The problem.
probability of dot is occurring is twice to that of dash. Uh, but we know that the sum of the two probabilities must be equal to one. So you can use that to evaluate the probability of dot and dash. Like here a clue is given to you. And also the time between the symbols is given as 0.2 seconds. Now you have to calculate the information source. Information rate of a telegraph source. So dot duration is given as 0.2 and dash duration is three times that of 0.2. So it is 0.6. And one more clue is given that is P dot is equal to 2 P dash. Once uh, P dot is equal to 2 P dash and we know that the sum of the two probabilities is 1. So P dot plus P dash is equal to 1. Therefore, uh, but here given uh, P dot is equal to 2 P dash. So substitute P dot here. So 2 P dash plus P dash is equal to 1. So P dash will be equal to 1 by 3. Once P dash is 1 by 3, P dot will be 2 into 1 by 3. So it is 2 by 3. So like that you can calculate the probabilities of dat, dots and dashes with this clue which is given in the question itself. So after calculating the properties, next thing is you have to calculate the entropy. So the, here entropy we have to calculate for two messages. One is dot and other is dash. Uh, so the expression is minus of uh, p dot log p dot base 2 plus p dash log p dash base 2. Just substitute the properties and uh, you will get the entropy as 0.912 bits per second. And symbol rate can be evaluated as T symbol, average symbol uh, time can be represented as T dot, in, that is the existing uh, existence of dot plus the existence time of dash and the space between the dot and dash. So T dot is how much already uh, it's given in the question itself. So 0 0.2 into the probability of dot that is 2 by 3 plus t dash is 0 0.6 and its probability is 1 by 3 plus 0 0.2. So finally we obtained the average symbol time is 0 0.533 seconds per symbol. But average, uh, uh, this is average symbol time, but you want the average symbol frequency or rate. So r is equal to reciprocal of time, symbol time. So you will obtain it as 1.83875 symbols per second. Just multiply the uh, symbol rate with the entropy. So R into H, you can evaluate the information rate. So we obtained it as 1.72 bits per second. Similarly, here one more problem is given. Just directly four messages are given to you. And uh, you have to calculate the entropy and information rate. This is a regular procedure. And one more uh, additional problem. Uh, this is also important for your uh, examinations. A high resolution black and white TV picture consists of 2 into 10 power 6 picture elements are there. So this is the like uh, picture, this many number of picture elements are there. And uh, the brightness levels are 16. And 16 bright, brightness levels are available. So these pictures are repeated at a rate of 32 per second. So here you have given with the, uh, the picture rate, which is 32 per second. And the picture consists of 2 into 10 power 6 and 16 brightness levels. So element rate, you can calculate it as 2 into 6, 10 power 6 picture elements multiplied by its repetition rate, that is 32 per second. So total element rate will be 62 into 10 power, 64 into 10 power 6 picture elements per second. And how can you calculate the entropy? Here they are telling that uh, 16 different brightness levels are there and uh, all are equally likely. And from the property 6 of entropy, which we studied in the earlier module, that is lecture uh, 20 uh, properties, lecture uh, concept of entropy and its properties, the maximum entropy for m equally likely messages is log m base 2 that occurs at p is equal to 1 by 16. So log 16 base 2, you will obtain it as 4 bits per picture elements. So 64 into 10 power 6 multiplied by entropy, that is 4 bits per second, gives you 256 megabits per second. That is the information rate for the respective application. 
And similarly, next, this problem is also important. Uh, this is an application re related to fast mail transmission. There are 2.25 into 10 power 6 picture inputs per frame are available. For good reproduction, 12 brightness levels are necessary. So here you are given with number of picture elements per frame, that is 2.25 into 10 power 6, and brightness levels are also given. Those are 12. So M is equal to 12. And uh, they mentioned that all are EP probable. Uh, so uh, you, here you can see that the maximum entropy that occurs at M equally likely messages is log M base 2. So directly you substitute M here. So you will obtain uh, entropy. And similarly, number of pictures per minute is 1 by 3. So finally, you will obtain uh, the SNR. Uh, they have given that if the SNR requirement increases to 40 dB. See here, all the 12 brightness are equally probable. So you will get H max as log 12 base 2. So it is directly 3. And let us move to the question. In the question, they have given the calculate the channel bandwidth required to transmit one picture in every three minutes for SNR ratio of 30 dB. So let us take initial SNR as 30 dB and later the SNR has increased to 40 dB. So in both the cases, we have to calculate the bandwidth. So And also you have to maintain the trade-off between the bandwidth and the SNR. Here you have to calculate the information rate first. So information rate is the number of uh, that is message rate multiplied by entropy. Just upon multiplying, <coughs> sorry, h is equal to log m base two. So log 12 base 2. So we obtained information rate as 44.812 kilobits per second. So coming to the bandwidth from the Shannon capacity theorem, C is equal to bandwidth into log 1 plus SNR base 2. So here you can see the relationship between SNR and bandwidth. So and SNR in decibels can be expressed as it's given as 30 dB. But, but if you want SNR, you can get the SNR as 10 power SNR of dB by 10 because 10 log uh, SNR base 10 is SNR in dB. So by using this expression, you can calculate the normal SNR value that is 1000. Upon substituting, we obtain the bandwidth as 4.49. Uh, now we have increased the SNR to 40 dB. For 40 dB, again, you have to calculate substitute in the expression to get the bandwidth. So we obtain the bandwidth as 3.372. So we have maintained a trade-off between the bandwidth and SNR in such a way that as the SNR increases from 30 to 40 dB, the bandwidth will decrease. Here you can observe there is a decrement in the bandwidth of approximately 1 kilohertz. So in this module, we have learned the concept of information rate as well as the problems related to information entropy and information rate.